Today, I'm castle hunting. Specifically, I'm hunting for Yester Castle, which is notoriously difficult to find, I'm told. All I know is it's near Gifford, which is about 15 miles outside of Edinburgh. I need to follow a treacherous, muddy path parallel to Gifford Water, then follow Hope's Water, and at the end of that, I'll be rewarded with a spectacular, spooky Scottish castle. Fancy joining me? Welcome to Rog Vlog. There was a tiny car park with space for just two cars. And there was only one other car there, so... I'm not really expecting to meet many people down this pathway. It's about a three kilometre walk through the woods to the castle, but if you fancy a much quicker but less interesting route, I'll tell you about that at the end, so stick around. To get to the castle, I'm taking this footpath which runs parallel to Gifford Water. and I believe it's going to get extremely muddy the deeper I get into the woods. Listen, I think I hear the sound of a waterfall. Now that really would be an unexpected bonus. Let's go check it out. Well, I hadn't come here today looking for a waterfall. And as you know, I'm on a secret mission this year to find more waterfalls in East Lothian. So this is an absolutely beautiful, unexpected bonus. Look at this fabulous old stone bridge. Now, the Gifford water and the pathway that I'm on keep crossing over each other and there are some fabulous little stone bridges like this all the way along the route. Well, I'm getting no mobile signal here. Now, this is the main path from Garvel to Gifford. I think I've got to go up there towards the castle. This is quite a steep climb up the side of the valley. Well, I've gone wrong a few times and I've had to double back on myself, but I think I'm getting closer now. And there it is, I finally found it. Went wrong a few times, but let's explore Yester Castle. You can see how the castle was built onto the side of this really steep hill which goes down all the way into the river valley below. That river is called Hope's Water and that's one of the reasons I went wrong. I forgot that I had to follow Gifford Water to the junction with Hope's Water and then follow the path parallel to Hope's Water. So remember that if you're coming yourself to find Yester Castle. Oh, I can feel the power of history.
Yester Castle was built in the 13th century by Hugo de Gifford. Now, he was rumoured to be a necromancer and a wizard, and people thought that because this castle was just so big compared to contemporary castles, that he'd had magic help to build it. The rumours were he had an army of goblins helping him build the castle. So the main hall of the castle is actually called Goblin Hall, or Goblin Hall. Down in this gully are two windows looking directly into the Goblin Hall. Well, that's the Goblin Hall in there. I don't know why I'm whispering, but it's really eerie here. Very quiet and quite spooky. I can just about make out the floor of the hall way down in the depths of the darkness. Next, I need to try and find the entrance. Oh, it's a long way down there. There is supposed to be a way into the Goblin Hall. So I'm having to negotiate this incredibly thin, narrow path with a massive, massive cliff face down to the river. This is not for the faint-hearted. So here it is, I've found the entrance to the Goblin Hall. Now, do I dare go in? All I've got is the torch light on my iPhone. It might not be bright enough, but uh, ugh, I've come all this way. Oh, it's so dark. Goblin Hall. And there are more steps going down into the darkness and the depths. I'm definitely not venturing any further down there, not in this light. Oh, that was so worth the trip all the way through that muddy forest. This is really spooky, but fantastic. Fantastic. This is a real hidden Scottish gem. You're going to have to come and find Yester Castle and Goblin Hall. <laughs> well, I really, really enjoyed that. It was spectacular and really worth the trek through that treacherous, muddy forest path. Now, stick around for a little bit longer because if you fancy coming to Yester Castle, but you don't fancy the forest hike, there is a much easier way to get here. And for the easy way, just find Castle Park Golf Course and Driving Range. Ask very nicely at reception if you can wander across the 18th fairway and they will tell you how to get to Yester Castle in under 10 minutes. That's the easy way, but you know what? The hard way was much more rewarding. If you enjoyed this episode of Rog Vlog, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, remember, there's always something to see, so go out there and find it! Thank you.